guess who's back? Back again. That's right, folks. It's me. It's Jay Nova. Back here after two weeks. Missed you guys. Loved it so much. I was on vacation for two weeks in Florida. Had a grand time. I actually went to stores and tried to find Gundam kits for y'all. But guess what happened? I had to... Well, not a bad thing. I just had the time to spend with my daughter. So... It was her her weekend, not my weekend. But we will do it again. I will go back down to Florida and talk about more Gundam shops and everything that's going out there. It was freaking amazing. Love to be back. I'm so excited. Now we're gonna start talking about what's going on. We actually have to talk about who won this month. The four winners, which was a close race. And I have to admit, I love the fact that now everybody's picking up their ante and it's not like just one Gundam kid, two Gundam kids. Everybody's like, really 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 camping up their styles their detailing that we got both of the people entry the winner mr brian who we're going to be talking to in a second and his win his winning for this week plus one of the runners up who he's doing another kit right now so we are definitely going to be talking about this right after this welcome back guys i'm as i said i'm so, so excited to hear you guys i'm freaking excited because i've been away for two weeks uh, as you see, I got darker while I've been away. Like, oh my god. Um, yeah. You're darker than me. Yeah, no. So, but um, as you see, we set up the winner, the the, the the competitors for this month. The winner and my co-host. This Gundam Buster actually won the contest this this month. Uh, Appreciate it. Yeah. This was one of the hardest. One of the harder. Uh, contests that we've had for a while because it's okay. it's been I haven't seen this much talent in one shot so far. Everybody that put a kid in this month really really stepped up the game and knocked it out of the park. This kid, I mean, he's standing right there. How old are you? Okay, fourteen. This is your first entry. Nice. And he did the, one of the most, one of the, at least one of the top and difficult. Oh. Yeah. You did one of the, at least one of the top ten most difficult kids out there. And paint job, detailing, uniqueness overall. You did a good job. I mean, you. Yeah. I'm telling you, this this month has been one of those the, one of those months that has just been outstandingly like the yeah the freedom in front of me, which if, in my pick it would have been one two three four. He does. This is uh, Richard Richmond. We've actually spoken to him on our first episode, but we never actually got to put to out the first episode because it was on Chris's phone. Uh, so the file was so huge that we could Yeah. Pause for a second. So, we apologize for the noise, folks. We have, again, we're a live show, and as you see, this way they're actually building some stock cars for the for the track, which they've been doing pretty amazing. Their cars are actually so fast, it's actually flying off the, the, the course, which is pretty funny. Uh, I haven't seen anything that, that fast before. That's not what she said. That's what she said. So, going back to the kids of, of this month, Again, Brian won, which we do appreciate your work because this is yeah. Um, my second pick was the freedom. My third pick was um, huh? Ansons, yeah, the crossbones. And my fourth pick was this one. I just love the freedom. I just love the way that I love the way that he looks. He just looks so whacked out. Yeah. This is this is this is. Oh, I would love to do a 160 model with this. You just have him like standing there like a shrine. Yeah. I like the way that the backpack fits into the uh, the base, the base, and it gives it a different way to balance it. That's what happened with the with the Ale Gundam too. It has the backpack that actually connects to the base. Right, and the uh, red frame does it as well. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I love the fact that they have that option where 
It doesn't always have to be from the bottom of the kit, where it always holds them like this. This actually holds them from the back, and it actually gives you a more dynamic view of them because you can actually like look like they're like they're coming at you, which is a hot idea. Um, thank you again, Miguel. Like I'm again, your kit was beautiful, beautiful, hands down, Manuel. Sorry, it's sunset. We, we, it's been a long day. Yeah. Um, again, my third pick was the crossbones, which we do appreciate to this kid right here. He did a great job. I love the fact the creativity that nobody like he went outside of the box with this, where it's not always Gundam. It's not always the basic one. He went actually with. The crossbones, which is actually, as we were saying before, oh, one of the top ten, like difficulty, like levels. Like sometimes this, this one is like over nine thousand with difficulty. Sometimes. Yeah, I hear a lot of people complaining about it. Yeah. Um. Remember that Kiko? Ki 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 yeah, yeah. She was. Yeah. She was the one who was complaining about that one too because she was like, you know, it's a diff the kids, the joints don't stay and all that jazz. And it's definitely up there, and the fact that he did it for the first contest and. Took the took the yeah, stood the test of time against the, against three people who actually are a little bit more upper grade than he is. He's actually this is actually a pretty badass kid. Looking at the future right here. Yeah, this is the next this is the next level. People, pay attention to this kid. Uh, Richmond again was my fourth one. He always makes a great kit. Like his kits are like beautiful it's detailed simplistically beautiful i think that's the best way i can describe it what do you uh i, I find that the kids that this uh, builder makes are very clean but i see in my opinion i see a little bit of corner cutting going on which is what made me give it a slightly lower grade. Oh, not that that matters. But so what what was your four then? My four were I think it was the freedom. Uh, freedom. Freedom. Then it was the the, the, the Richmonds and then Anson. Okay. Um. Just because of the extra paint detail that went into. It's worth it. I mean. No, he did a. He, yeah, yeah, even though it's a smaller yeah, kit, it's a little easier to take care of. But it's even some modifications too. I see some moving parts in. that may or may not belong. Yeah, he does. He does his own custom custom yeah, like, yeah, mm -hmm. to his kits where he actually puts extra parts into them. Yeah. So you know that that kit that looks like a, like the engine, like the generator behind it. That was him. Oh, okay. So that's him. That's, 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 that's that type of person. Um, I mean, it's like but I think he did a, a great job with it. Like always, he always has this. this, yeah. this the thing that drew me to the kit was the um, the pencil lining extra detail that he did. The kit that he, he did a kit last month as well. And that kit was very well done, but it lacked some of those finer details. This kit absolutely exemplifies all the details that the prior kit lacked. Yes. In my opinion. And, and I love the like I love the weathering that he did around the edges too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about the little pencil detail, that yeah. like wearing on the line to show a little bit of a wear in the, uh, but not necessarily like a rust or corrosion. Like yours, yours is more, yours is more like battle damage ready. Like I've been through, I've seen how it come back. And a bit. I didn't go so far as to add wounds to the armor. Uh, I just went for a grime and a mild corrosion because I don't believe that that particular type of armor will actually corrode more than just a powdery rust that flakes yeah. off. If you brush it. Well, always they always say that the gun, gun, Gundam metal or whatever. Gundanium. Gundanium, really. Uh, no, I don't get it either. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a special titanium alloy that it doesn't rust. But like, what I always love to see that it, uh, what was the what was the scene from, from uh. Let's see, double zero, double zero. Uh, you see, I see it just, carpet. yeah, like the right, the flower carpet where he's just like covered in flowers and everything. Oh, that's the uh, else quantum. See, like that. I don't think that they'll rust. I think they're more like a just like road. Yeah, like, a little bit, and that's the thing about titanium is it will it will produce a rust color and exposed to certain acids and certain things, even oxygen. But the rust doesn't stay. You can brush it off, and it has that like powdery orange quality. Then be the size of that. Again, from the first day I seen this kit, loved it. I, like I have not stopped looking at this kit every time I come to the stores. Like, yeah. 
But then this bad boy came. He was next, and then you came. Then this one came. Actually, you came first. He came second. This one was third. His was fourth. Because I remember each one coming in at exact different times, and I was like, "But this is this is this was gonna win. I knew it was gonna win." So, since you did win, show me your prize. Oh yeah, and the prize that I won was this beautiful high grade Julia, Julia. Uh, IBO regionalize the Julia kit. Uh, custom grade. You guys need it. Custom grade. Um, beautiful. It's got the chainsaw. Uh, it's got an amazing array of booters, booters, boosters on the booters on the back. It's got boosters on the back and some uh, some shield guns and boosters. It's just it's an incredibly dynamic and complicated kit. I really look forward to it. And I want to say thanks to Kevin and the guys at. Really all Listen, we appreciate <clears throat> this is this is actually for y'all for, for you guys for that the the YouTube channel. This everything we do is to promote you know the hobby shop but also promote skills like this because we want to see more like this. And like your like your channel, like I've seen what you did with um the Zaku, the one the blue one. yeah the blue I love what you did with that. Yeah, we're going. There's going to be more videos, but I've been overworked. Yeah, believe me, we've all been like overworked and dealing with a lot of things coming up recently. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, I apologize, folks. Like as I said, I've been with my daughter. I yeah for two weeks, and I still have her. So we're gonna make this a quick show. Um, I'm gonna sh we're gonna gonna cut right now and show you the video that I did in Florida, and that's gonna I'm gonna close up here. We're gonna show you the video to the Coliseum Comics, which actually was kind enough to let me video them, video their, their store. Oh, really? Yeah, I actually got permission. Thank you, Aaron, the manager, the owner. We really appreciate from Gundam Builders. Thank you again, guys, for the two gentlemen that were there that day. Hey, Gundam Builders, listen, guys, we apologize for not having up videos for a while, but unfortunately, I'm on vacation, as you see me with the Hawaiian shirt. Aloha. It's my daughter's sixth birthday. I'm really excited. But we got permission to do a video at a Col Col Coliseum of Comics. We're going to go in. And so far, I mean, there's very limited places that sell Gundams. But they sell Gundams here. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go inside. Guys, again, this is Fashion Square Mall. We're in Orlando, Florida. Central Florida. Um, as you see, they sell massive statues here. And comic books. They have a lot of vet. Yeah different comic books and and exclusives here but unfortunately the biggest thing was that I really wanted to do was check out the Gundams come on down so they do sell a couple of Gundam kits and really great kits on here and it's not that expensive remember Florida doesn't have the taxes like New York yeah um, but I'm only excited. I'm actually going to purchase this one, the Valkyrie, because this is sickness right here. Um, yeah, this is coming home. So, we are really happy to show that there's also other things. There's other Gundams. They have kits and everything. They have the stands. They have the Grandpa game, uh, Gundam. I keep saying Game Boy. Thanks, Chris. Um, they have HD kits. They have RGs. Of course, you know, this is Chris's favorite kit, of course. Um, but yeah, so guys, if you're ever in Fashion Square Mall, they were great enough to let us let us shoot here and talk to them. Come by. It's called Coliseum of Comics. Let them know what you think. And this is this is Gundam, Gundam Villas of New York. Talk to you guys later. So, as you saw the video, again, we want to thank Coliseum uh, Comics from Florida. There was another co there was another Gundam place that I didn't have a chance to get to. Uh, my boy Elvin, my brother from another, he's actually going to help us get a video from that place. Oh, cool. And probably uh, do a clip from from them. Well, so, we'll have a correspondent in Florida. Nice. Yeah. So, Foreign correspondent, not really. <laughs> Florida's kind of Yeah. No, man. I would love to go. I would love to... Um, take the Gundams and actually take like like area scenery. 
like pictures with areas, like you know, like the beach. Like I actually put my guns on the beach. Right this is one dude that I've been following. Folks, I really have been doing homework, like outside, like while I've been away. I've been following this one dude from um, from China that he actually does like Gundam kits, and then he like the detailing is off the chain, off the bat. Then he does nature shots. I don't know where the hell he found a, a Starbucks kit to fit in the Gundam hand. And he just, he has one, like, he literally has one doing the Kermit, like, you know. Yeah, so he was, but he has, like, all these great nature shots, like, great, great, um, like, just, he has a gun, I'm like, just chilling, like, yeah, yeah, I'm good, like, I'm like, oh, it's, it's beautiful, all these shots are great, um, I will try to get into an interview with him to talk to him a little bit more, I have been talking to a lot more people on YouTube, uh, other YouTube channels. We actually, oh, no. I actually spoke to some her, somebody to actually sing for us soon. So she does covers of the Gundam song, of the Gundam. <coughs> so I was hoping that yes, yeah, so I was hoping maybe she can come in and do like a acoustic uh, cover of like one of the Gundam songs. Sure, yes. it'd be great if she can do that. But yeah, she yeah. lives in like uh, Long Island. Okay. Like, like she lives. We don't the, hold that against her. I know, but she lives in like like the last of Long Island. Ah. Yeah, she's uh, up there. Okay, got out over there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, folks. As I said, I've been doing a lot of homework for you guys. I'm, I've been trying to look for so many things for you guys. I've been on YouTube. I've been on Instagram. I've been on Facebook. I've been following a lot of people and trying to get a lot more interviews, a lot more followers, a lot more. And again, we appreciate. All your following, your likes, your comments, your shares. We love you for it. Thank you very much for it. So what we're going to do now is talk about the new toys that the real Young Hobby Shop. Oh, by the way, when I say that I'm home, this is our home base. The, the real Young Hobby Shop, if I say home, yeah, down in Sunset, 60th Street, this is my home. This is home base, okay? So if I tell you we're home, that's where we're at. Um, so we got a bunch of new toys while I was away, and I'm only excited to talk about them. Like, Kevin got a whole Dragon Ball Z kit. Um, we got the androids. But, you know, you can't have the androids and not have so If he would have had um, Future Trunks, I would have just bought the whole set right now. It's not any cell, it's perfect cell. It's perfect cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I loved his voice when he was like I mean, he was just talking so smack to him. I just wish they in the kit they had like the, the messed up face one. Like, they still like the other ones. Mm -hmm. Just just to um what do you call those figures that, that they used to change the pieces? I mean, it, they're like sixty dollars a pop but they're like they're like um anyway I'll get the name. I know what they're called. But this is Eighty-five percent sure this is coming home. So I'm eighty-five percent. What do you think about this though? I I love them. They're actually Gundam built. Like yeah, yeah, the Bandai kits. The figure eyes actually I've heard about eighteen uh, as being a really good quality kit. Uh, I like eighteen's character when I was watching DBZ back in the early two thousand. It's open. Yeah, so we're gonna show you. Like it's like a Gundam kit. It's in pieces. The orange on that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I would, I would so put oh, like a cool. spray paint on that. Oh, cool. We've got a couple different eye sets. That's cool. So this is a good option. It doesn't have to be your standard age 17. You can make your own custom 17. You know what? I'm kind of pissed off about something else. Look at that freaking effect part. Well, that's that's Great a hot. Goggly moggly. That's a hot part. I'm kind of pissed that he has more ass than I do. <laughs> it's a kit, and he has more. He has. Get it, tremendo culo! Like, he has more ass than I do. That's kind of sad. Mega flower. Anywho. Yeah. You know, we got, we got the androids. We got perfect self. Which, again, he's like, ah, like, dude, I just feel like going like this right now. Then we got the first, the first form of, um... And these come pre-colored, right? Yeah. No, no, they don't actually. No, it's panel It's like a regular kit. Yeah. You know, it's a figure, but you figure out. Yeah, yeah but you can color it to make it darker. Yeah. Like, of course, yeah, yeah panel and standard. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, the first form to to freezer. Uh, uh, in in my store, in my job, we have the 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 first form, like the, first his, form? the final form. Oh, final form. Yeah, we have the final form. Um, this is his first form where he has the hover the hover um card thing. Uh, yeah. 
And it's like under these capsules. Oh, they show it here with, with. Yeah, and, and the one in my store that's coming with the pod. Nice, the platform. Yeah, it's the big pod. It almost looks like the capsules. One of my all time favorite forms of Goku is always going to be Super Saiyan 3. Ascended? Yeah. I love Super Saiyan 3. Ascended Saiyan. Yeah. Um, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like Super Saiyan 4, so screw you guys. Um, He's a tail for that, right? Yeah. That's G, right? That, yeah. that was the GT series. Yeah, yeah, GT. Yeah. Which doesn't exist anymore. Now it's all. How the heck did that happen? Boys, EL, Joe Tech, what happened to that? Oh, because, um, what's his name? Took it over. He. he Took back the series and then uh, the double series. Gotcha, gotcha, so, gotcha. but again, I still loved Super Saiyan Four. Super Saiyan Four was when, when he came out. I was like, what the f is this? I remember going to the anime store in China. I was like, what is this? Why is he? Why is he like red pink? What is this? I, was, I lost my mind for like the, yeah because the way they had it, they had it with like this stand like this. And they just had like a like a cutout, like a like a, like a like just a cutout. It was like standing for ten minutes, just looking at him, like, trying to make it, trying to make sense. Yeah, because just trying to figure it out. You gotta understand, folks. I didn't have internet back in the days. Okay, we had AOL with the, and if your mom picked up the phone, that was the end of the internet. Okay, so I had to go out and get tapes, like actual video cassette tapes. So. I had to wait for everything to come out. Some of them actually still had commercials, which was pretty fun. Oh, yeah. So the GT was straight Japanese. They didn't, uh, um, no subs. Right? So I had to learn Japanese for GT, which was pretty fun. So that's more one of some of the toys that we've gotten so far. Yeah. The Star Wars, this Star Wars kit has exploded around here. This is actually some hotness right now. We got this. We got the the A wings. We got the snow speeders. I got one of these for my birthday. Thanks, honey. You're an awesome wife. She is an awesome wife. Slave uh, one, baby. We got the slave ship, which is actually uh, yeah, slave one. Slave ship, my friend. I know, just slave one. Oh, that would slap you in the mouth. Did we not get the X-ray? Oh, we didn't get the X-ray, but we got the eight. We got the uh, uh, with the AT, AT, AT. And yeah, yo, I. This is one of my all-time favorite things to. To uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, um. <laughs> this is this was. So what I wanted. Was I want? I love this, right? right. At one forty-eight. This is one forty-four. Right. So I'm wondering how big these things are. I want are. this at 148. <laughs> yeah, I want to know how big these are, like when, when you actually build them. Like, to actually see how like how tall they are. I actually started looking up this, the, the... Cue the music. Oh my god, that would be so funny. And we would get sued by freaking uh, Disney. Uh, no Disney, don't sue us. Uh, so, anywho, so, anywho, I'm gonna guess that this at 144 is gonna be about the size of a uh, van. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, like a 1 to 20 van again. This is the X-Men that, that we were talking about. Uh, you cannot have Star Wars without the X-Men. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. So, this is actually... I can't wait to open this up and actually like, figure out how to put it all together. Oh, yeah. I would love to do a, a fusion, yeah. like a crossover Gundam fusion type of thing. I just did, I'm doing one right now with a uh, Giradoga and a Messerschmitt ME262 from World War II. That's going to be pretty sick. Yeah. Are you, you going to put like, like Metallica, Metallica 1 background? Like, dun, 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 dun. So like, that, that would be hot in the back of your video, you just like... Dun, 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 dun. I just had to have you edit because my editing skills are in the garbage can. <laughs> I would love to edit your videos so if you ever give me the chance. I'll edit for you. For you, so. you heard it, folks. You heard him say that. Yeah, and so we're also doing a live show, so don't mind the people walking back and forth. It's all gravy. Yeah, uh, folks, that's it. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Actually, I'm we're gonna cut it short today because. I gotta go home. I yeah, gotta take care. Of. So, folks, 
again, I will see you next week. Much appreciated, much love. Thank you guys. For, thank you for your patience. Uh, we will try to keep it more consistent. Absolutely, yeah. Try to stay, stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be doing more uh, build sessions here in the store at Ryong down in Sunset Park in Brooklyn. Guys, say hi. Uh, say hi to the YouTube viewers. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so, again, see you guys next week. Thanks for the love. Peace. Like, share, subscribe. That too. <laughs>